Good morning, friends. Uh, in today's video lecture, we will be talking about the bacterial cell wall, its structure and chemistry. As we already know that there are two types of bacteria, the gram-positive bacteria and the gram-negative bacteria. And this is on the basis of their staining property, that is the capacity to retain the gram stain, that is the crystal violet stain. The gram-positive bacteria, they retain the crystal violet on alcohol washing whereas the gram negative they lose it the basic uh, principle of this gram staining is mainly based on the nature of the cell wall of these two bacteria the gram positive bacteria have a very very thick peptidoglycan layer that is about 20 to 80 nanometer thick in different different bacteria and they comprise of, comprise of about uh, 40 layers of peptidoglycan chain that are cross-linked with these uh, tetrapeptide side chains via peptide linkages. And so they make a very rigid cell wall all, ar all around. These are made of peptidoglycan basically, also called murine. So the mm, saculus around the cell, the murine saculus, Peptidoglycan saculus around the cell is also called murine saculus, therefore. So in gram-positive bacteria, we find uh, the murine saculus, thicker murine saculus, and uh, above the plasma membrane, this is plasma membrane, the boundary of the protoplasm. And uh, there is literally no space left in between the cell wall and the plasma membrane. It is almost adjunct to the plasma membrane. The cell wall is almost lying on the plasma membrane, leaving very little space. And this this is uh, this space is quite distinct in case of gram-negative bacteria. You can see here this these two spaces, this plus this part and this part is the is the space between the outer membrane and the plasma membrane. This space is called periplasm space or periplasm that is literally absent in gram-positive bacteria. The gram-positive bacteria other than having this uh, peptidoglycan also contain these uh, polysaccharide-like structures. This one and this one, this one. These are known as tachoic acids. The, the one that is linked with the phospholipid is called lipotachoic acid. And that which is linked with the with the murine is called murine tachoic acid, or simply as tachoic acid. Tachoic acids are again of two types. Uh, they may be glycerol tachoic acid, glycerol based, glycerol tachoic acid, or ribitol tachoic acid. This glycerol and ribitol are alcohols. Of the, the, this glycerol is three carbon chain. And this is five carbon chain and they are present uh, in about 30 to 40 in numbers linked by phosphate moieties just like a sugar phosphate backbones of uh, nucleic acids so this is the um, structure of gram positive cell wall now let us talk about the gram negative this is gram negative cell wall the gram negative cell wall is more complex than the gram positive because it contains uh, uh, two distinct layers the one is the outer membrane and the peptidoglycan layer which is very very thinner it is merely 2 to 8 nanometer in thickness as compared to the 20 and 80 nanometer and merely 2 to 3 layers of peptidoglycan chain are linked by these tetrapeptide side chains the peptidoglycan layer it, it, it is suspended in this uh, viscous uh, liquid like material present in the periplasm space that, that is basically a protein solution the proteins um, of this uh, periplasm space are, are of different nature. They are engaged in signaling or transport uh, type of functions. The peptidoglycan layer is associated with the inner layer of outer membrane with the help of a protein called Brown's lipoprotein. So this is Brown's lipoprotein. The outer membrane and the plasma membrane these two are not exactly similar the inner membrane of the outer membrane the inner monolayer of the inner aspect of the outer membrane is quite similar to the uh, both the layers of the uh, plasma membrane but the outer monolayer this part 
is quite different. This part contains, uh, along with the phospholipids, these are the phospholipid moieties, along with this, this kind of lipid molecules. This kind of structure, this, this is called lipopolysaccharide, LPS. So this layer is altogether called LPS layer or lipopolysaccharide layer. This lipopolysaccharide has three parts. This inner part, this is called the lipid A. It is called lipid A. This middle part is called po core polysaccharide. And the outermost part, this is called either called O side chain. It is also made of polysaccharides, but is highly variable O side chain or antigen O. And this is the part because of which the antigenic property of uh, each bacterial cell, that is the granulated cell, differs from serotype to serotype. So this is about the gram power negative bacteria. You may compare these two a little bit with uh, having the uh, presence and absence kind of uh, thing. The cell wall is th thicker in gram positive, which is thinner in gram negative. It is complex. It contains the, in gram negative. It contains outer membrane, which is absent in gram positive bacteria. The brown lipoprotein is absent in gram negative positive bacteria. The periplasmic space is literally absent in gram positive bacteria. And whereas the tachoic acid is absent in, in, in gram negative bacteria, it is present in the gram positive bacteria. That is the difference. There is another kind of thing the cell wall associated proteins. These proteins, this, they are present, they may be present both in case of gram negative and gram positive bacteria. One thing I forgot to mention that the outer membrane also contains a trimeric protein. This part, this is called aquaporin or porin simply. These proteins are called porin proteins. These porin proteins are highly permeable. They contain three channels and a middle channel, that is the four channels through which uh, uh, small molecules can easily pass through into the, into the periplasmic space and where from they will enter into the cytoplasm. They have to cross this membrane barrier, which is very difficult to cross. Anyway. Now let us talk about the chemical nature of this peptidoglycan. Peptidoglycan is uh, made up of uh, these moieties, this yellow and this, uh, what is the color, uh, sky blue. These moieties are alternatively present. They represent either this one and this one. And they are cross-linked with the help of beta 1,4 glycosidic bonds. These molecules are chemically known as, this is called N-acetyl glucose amine and this, this one is called N-acetyl muramic acid. Again there is N-acetyl glucose amine, again there will be N-acetyl muramic acid. So alternative uh, chain of Naga and Nama are linked by beta-1,4 glycosidic bonds to make the peptidoglycan chain. The Nama subunits contain at its C3 position uh, a tetrapeptide side chain. The tetrapeptide side chain consists of, normally it consists of L-alanine, D-glutamine, mesodiaminopimelic acid or, or lysine and D-alanine. This fifth residue of D-alanine is, uh, in fact it is deleted at the time of uh, cell wall synthesis when this cross-linking is taking place. One peptidoglycan layer runs like this, this is one peptidoglycan layer, say. Remove this one. This this is the peptidoglycan layer, the upper layer, and this is the this is this layer is the next layer. This layer also contains this tetrapeptide side chain, and this layer also contains this tetrapeptide side chain. These two chains are cross-linked by the third amino acid of one with the fourth amino acid of the other in most general cases, and this cross-linking is also a peptide bond cross-linking. So. Two peptide chain, polypeptide chains, uh, I mean not polypeptide, peptidoglycan chains, rather. Uh, mistakenly, uh, we're pronouncing it polypeptide. It is peptidoglycan. Polypeptide is altogether different. That is a protein. It's a peptidoglycan chain. Uh, uh, the two peptidoglycan chain are cross-linked with this help of this tetrapeptide side chains by this peptide bond. And so the membrane, be uh, the cell wall becomes very, very highly uh, uh, cross-linked and the network is very very tight. The cross-linking may vary cell to cell and uh, accordingly there are two types of uh, peptidoglycan group A and group B. If the cross-linking occurs with the, between the third and the fourth 
third and the fourth amino acid. This is peptidoglycan layer, Naga, Nama, rather, this is Naga, this is Nama. Again, they are running like that. Sorry. This, is, this must be Nama, this is Naga, and this way. So, this is also another layer. They are cross linked with this tetrapeptide side chain. This is tetrapeptide side chain. So, if the cross link occurs between the third and the fourth, it will be called group A type. And that will be again of direct type and indirect type. In case of indirect type of the uh, polypeptide, uh, I mean peptidoglycan cross linking, some amino acids might be present as bridge. Here, five glycine molecules are present at glycine bridge between this tetrapeptide side chain. So, it is indirect kind of cross linking. Again, this is called group B type if the cross linking occurs between the second amino acid and the fourth one. And that might also occur with the help of a bridge like D lysine and D ornithine. So, the peptidoglycan layers are cross linked like this. So, this is the chemistry of the of the bacterial, bacterial cell wall. Uh, I think that will be good enough for understanding the structure and chemistry of the bacterial cell wall. Thank you for your attention.